Art is everywhere we look, but just what is art? Is art the delicate and precise brushstrokes on a canvas? Is art the moulding of materials into statues and sculptures? Or is art the framing of a perfectly timed picture? That's what we aim to find out. We've come to Manchester, a cultural city of the north, to talk to some artists and find out more about the world of art. Firstly, we talked to Paul Brown, a Manchester-based contemporary painter, and we asked him what he believed art was. It's something that I've, I, I've chosen to do with my life. You know, I could have, um, I could have been a bricklayer, or um, I could join the navy, or you know, I could. There's so many doors and avenues to go down, but it's up to the viewer to decide what's going on. Art can be storytelling for me mainly, but also art can be just a reflection of whatever's going on in the world. There's a real, there's a real fine art to it and, and when you pull it off it's magical, you know. Next we spoke to Danny Collins, an ex-homeless Manchester-based artist. He was the creator of Mr Streetwise and we asked him what art was in his own opinion. Arts is, um, it's a different thing to different people I think. It's, um, it's what, it can bring pleasure, it can bring memories, it can, um, it can achieve a great deal through art, um, through the media or through personal art. Finally we spoke to Matthew Taylor, a Manchester based street photographer and we asked him what art was to him. Art means different things to different people and what I consider art, might, someone else might not consider. Um, so I think it's a really ambiguous thing art because it's, it's such a, a, a broad range of different styles and, um, and, and, and things like that. So I think it's really difficult to sort of quantify what art is. Um, I, f I think it has to be appealing to the eye. Um, but generally, I think most things can be considered art if, um, if they have value. I suppose when I was 21, um, I walked in a gallery and I saw, it was simple, I saw a, a huge print of um, Claude Monet's uh, View of Venice. But then when I looked at that and I saw it, I thought, that's what I need to be doing in my life, you know. That's my calling. And I knew I could, I mean, there's no way I could have gone home and just got to that level it's a journey you know and, and like anybody who's who draws or paints you, you do it since like you're a toddler so you've, you've always done it you know what I mean but it wasn't till 2010 that I um, really got my head down and thought right let's let's make it happen and let's see if we can bring some sort of um, money in with it uh, and I, I had some small success I try and portray adventure because that's what I seek in my life, you know. Um, a lot of wonderlust is in my paintings. Um, this is one of um, a, a body of work which is called North by Northwest. These are the they're kind of like industrial, um, grim northern scenes, but um, they, they generally follow this, 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 this guy which is um, is the, is the main person in this series of work. Um, I can't, I've always been this way, I can't just stick to doing the one body of work. I have to be working on two or three things. Yeah. It's kind of like, there's too much, I've got too much artistic energy for that, just to paint the same thing. And every single day it gives you something new to look at, so. But I would hope that what I do um, can be enjoyed by everybody, really. Art means to me, personally, um it's something I've never really been involved in in my life, um, but over the last 18 months, two years, it's, um, it's given me a lot of achievement, a lot of um, self-esteem and um, helped me to produce my own art. So art, art means to me um, something that's done with uh, care and intent. Um, for me, that's, that's what art is and, and you can find it in all sorts of different things. It doesn't have to be your traditional sort of art with paintings and, and things like that. It can literally be, um, you know, the, the way someone's dressed even. 
Um, so long as it's done with the intent of being something that has artistic merit, then I, I'd consider that art. It constantly pushes you. If, if you're taking it the way I take it, it's constantly pushing me. I'm constantly trying to be the best at what I do. I do believe that where there is more art in the world, like uh, especially public art, I believe it brings peace and stability to that. It's, it's, you're born into art, I think. You're born into a talent or a gift, and it's up to me to explore it. I, I try and evoke something in the pit. And so if, if somebody sees it, I want it to evoke them. That, um, that, that challenge in yourself, um, I think it, it keeps you alive, it keeps your brain um, in good stead. Uh, Rolling Stone gathers no moss, I suppose. It's given me a passion to, um, to produce more, to do more. Um, I can put my opinion over through him. So originally he was actually started off as a head, um, as a bust. Um, um, then he went into a pair of shoulders and then a body and then legs. So he just, um, he basically just created itself. <laughs> All the clothes that he's wearing are actual clothes that I wore while I lived on the streets and he's actually made out of everything that he's made of comes from skips he's nothing but everything's come so everything's off the street so um, that's why we called him Mr Streetwise the actual colours of him um, the gold um, there was snow on this arm originally the flowers and the, the leaves uh, represent the four seasons that people are just on the streets in summer that they're there all year round all the poetry work that's um, on him, are all, it's all written by homeless people or ex-homeless people. He, he represents a part of my life um, where I lost a lot of self-esteem when I was rough sleeping and to put that pack away into a corner for three or four hours and forget you're homeless. But in the last 12 months of doing the art and doing being in the centre and getting involved, getting my life back on track and he's helped me to do that. But um, art nowadays, it's, it's open to more people now. It was maybe not so many years ago, maybe 30, 40 years ago, it was um, a class thing that you didn't see many working people in galleries. But now um, you can see the um, the variation in the cultures and the, the class, if you like. It was more of a class thing. But I think it's really interesting now in the, 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 the age that we're in is where, like I was saying with, with digital photography, people, it's, you know, it's much more accessible. All sorts of stuff you can take pictures with now and pretty much everyone's got a camera and they've got it with them all the time if they've, if they've got the phone, which, which everyone does. So I think it's... Um, evolved immensely and I think different people have access to art and being exposed to art and that's motivating them to go out and do it themselves and also as well I think a lot of the working classes over the last few decades have gone into art and it's become more accessible to them um, so for example people in the working classes wouldn't necessarily know you know where to get an easel from or you know or a canvas or something like that but you know where they can get a spray can from and you can do some graffiti and we, I think we've seen a, a large explosion of street art um, and, uh, and I think that's the reason why because it's just more and more accessible. For, for painting like I do, um, that will always be around because you know it's been around for since Turner so you're looking at 300 years it's been around. It's probably going to go on another thousand years this style. People like me will just come and go and die and then it'd be the next person, you know. I don't don't expect anything remarkably drastic to change. There won't be any big changes because it's not really changed that much since the cave painting, you know. Photography still, still, apart from the fact that you don't use film anymore, it's not really changed much, has it? I don't think um, it has, has, has to change. It, well, it has to change, but I don't think it has to be revolutionised, you know. Yeah. Photography is the easiest art form to be competent at, but it's the hardest art form to have um, a recognised style. So to look at someone's 
work and go, oh, that's Matthew Taylor, or oh, that's Henry Carter Bresson, or, or whatever. Um, it's very easy to be competent at it and, and, and do it, but it's the hardest to sort of get to that level. I started um, doing photography in Vietnam, in Saigon, um, about four years ago. What I was doing, I was in um, Saigon, um, just taking photographs of people, just sort of walking around the streets and, and things like that. So when I got back um, to England after probably about a week, uh, decided to go out into Manchester and just started taking photographs on the street like I did in, in Vietnam and I just sort of got into it that way. I recently went to uh, Myanmar, uh, that was only a few months ago, which is really, really good. Um, but my favourite place is India. For, fo for photographs, it's just, it's absolutely amazing. There's so many people, it's really vibrant, you know, everything's happening, you know, it's just, it's really, really interesting. Um, but I think photography, especially as it's coming to its digital age, is considered more um, art than, than what it used to be. Um, when photography first started, it was more about documenting um, things and, and, and life and portraits and people. Well, I think as it's progressed and moved on through the, the film ages and now obviously we're in the digital age of photography, I mean that's completely changed and the, the accessibility of um, digital photography um, has just turned it, I think, into an art form. I think it's always been important, um, um, going back to you know, like, like caveman sort of times, people would, would draw on walls. Um, as a way of communicating, but also, you know, artistically as well. Um, I, I think it's always going to be important. Um, the sort of, the time it stops being not important, um, I don't, I think it's so ingrained in humanity that people want to express themselves or express a feeling or, a, or an emotion. And I think human beings will always want to do that. So therefore, I don't think art will ever go away. And I don't think it's ever been anywhere anyway. I think art has, has always been with us. You know, a, lot, a lot of people do, do, who are involved in the arts in whatever form you do it in, they're not out to change the world. They're just doing it because it's a voice. You know what I mean? They're just singing a song with their own voice. 